The word for you today, we're talking about going through difficulties. This is day two, part two of this. Psalm chapter 56, verse four. David is writing, he says, In God whose word I praise, in God I trust. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? David is writing this at the time the Philistines have seized him in Gath. When David says he'll trust in God's word, he's, he's talking about Talking about what God says. He's talking about God's written word, his nature, his character, his promises, everything that makes God, God, who God is. Remember when Jesus sent the 12 disciples, the 12 apostles out to minister to others? He said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 28, So do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And what what Jesus is telling the disciples, you're going to run into difficulties. But don't be afraid of other people. David was saying, he wasn't real happy in the situation he was in, but he, he wasn't afraid of the king of the Philistines because he knew who God was. So let me ask you, what gives you confidence? How can you have confidence in God when, when people seem to threaten you? And there are times when people come against us and, and it can be difficult. Well, first of all, remember God is in control. Psalm chapter 20, verse 7 says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. You know, God is ultimately in control, no matter what men may do. If someone is in position of authority, it's because God has allowed them to be there. God can also move them out of that place of authority. And sometimes we often wish, wonder why he doesn't do it quicker than he does. But, but remember that God ultimately is in control. The second thing, recognize that our peace comes from God and that peace is something the world cannot give. God gives a peace that only he can give. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends or passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we depend on God, there's a peace that He gives us that we can get no other way. And it doesn't matter how difficult the circumstances we're in, God can bring peace. The third thing, Remember what God has already done for you. Think of those times when you didn't see a way out, but yet God provided a way out. So remember God is in control. Our peace comes from God. Remember what God's already done. And the fourth thing is pray. Talk to God. Oftentimes we listen to the very people who are causing our anxiety, the difficult people that's causing life to be difficult. We're listening to them. And what, get, what does that get us? More anxiety more difficulty. But if we just change our focus and we look to God and talk to Him, He brings peace, even in the middle of a difficult situation. Jesus has said, in this world you will have troubles, but take heart, I've overcome the world. And I think what all this boils down to is we need to care more about what God thinks and what God has to say than what anybody else has to say. Are you going through any difficulty today? God already knows. He's already there. And He cares about you. If you haven't yet, just take time and go to Him and say, let Him know how you feel. Let Him know where you are. And just ask Him to help you. Have a good day.